Behind me is the exact lead generation method I used to close $6,000 in revenue last month. And I'm going to be breaking down exactly how you can implement the strategy to add $1,000 in your pocket a month. So steal this. If you want to make more money as a video editor, you have to reach out more. Don't fall into the trap of sending copy and paste cold DMs. I know how it is. I send hundreds of them and they barely work. Instead, use this method that I currently use for my agency. The goal is for you guys to create a pitch that has a high conversion rate. And the way that I recommend you guys doing that is giving your lead a free video. This means that you're going to have to go on their social media accounts, find some raw footage, edit the footage, and then send it to them in the first message. This allows them to picture themselves in the video you just edited, which also shows that you are a hustler, you're qualified to be doing their work, and that also helps you stand out in the sea of other editors. And PS, you can also use this free video in your portfolio. I'm going to share the story of how I landed my first client as a video editor. So there was this professional Halo player and I really wanted to work for him and I saw he was struggling with his social media accounts, so I originally pitched him that, hey, I'd give you 60 short videos and I'll post them for you on your TikTok. And he loved the idea. And he told me when I got home to message him, I sent the message and he ghosted me. So what I essentially did then was I created three fake accounts on TikTok. I ran all of them. I edited all the free videos and I posted them to the account. And then a week later, I showed him the analytics and he's like, all right, let's do this. So what he saw from there was that I was hustler, I was qualified to be doing the work, and nobody else did stuff like that for him. Now that you have your pitch, let's move on to the D100 method. First, go to the description of the video, click the first link you see in the bio, and that's going to take you to a spreadsheet that I created for you absolutely for free so you can get started with this process. The whole point of the D100 is to organize your leads so that way you can find all their social media and keep track of them. This makes the process super easy when you actually go and pitch them. What you guys need to do is find 100 people. I know it sounds like a lot of work, but this is really gonna set you apart. Find 100 people you guys wanna work for and then fill out this information right here. And I'm gonna be showing you guys our Dream 100 because it's currently what we use in our agency. So this is what it looks like. It's a lot. I'm gonna have the editor blur out all the names here because this is definitely personal information. We're all the way down to 170 people. This is our second list. So our other list, we have over 100 people also. So yeah, we have a lot of people we reach out to. Hey, if you're getting a lot of value from this video and you actually wanna go full time as a video editor, check out my free course. It's linked in the description of the video. Peace. The next tip is following up with people. If somebody didn't respond the first time, hit them up again. For our agency, we use Trello to manage the follow-ups and this is how you set it up. So after we send them the initial message, what we're doing is we're following up with them a day after. We'll be like, hey, did you get a chance to check out this? And then three days after, we're hitting them with another follow-up, then six days, another one, all the way up until it gets to a month. And then we're hitting them up once a month. And even if they don't respond, we're still following up with them. We are like hunting these people down basically because we want to work for them. Now I'm going to break down exactly how you can create your free Trello board. We pay for Trello because we use some of the automations in it along with Zap for the agency. But doing this, it's completely free. We did this for the first four months and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So first you want to name your board. So essentially you want it to be something called follow up. I'm just going to put test for now. First list is going to be lead in and then you're going to add that list. Second list is going to be first message sent. You're going to add second uh, first follow up. Second follow up. Okay, and then that's gonna go on until like you're at your fifth or sixth follow-up. And then when you guys get to that point, just start adding more lists. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna keep it short. You're gonna do either they're in the pipeline, meaning they responded and you're like talking to them actively now, or deal lost. So deal lost. So they said, stop messaging me. Like one of our first messages was like this guy saying, Stop bugging me, <laughs> which is really funny, but <laughs> it's whatever. Okay. And then what you guys are going to do when you guys have your Excel spreadsheet filled out is you guys are going to go to the names here. So I'll use my one as an example here. 
You're gonna just copy a few or copy all of the hundreds you have. You're gonna go back to Trello, gonna go to add core card, gonna hit this and then add card. It's gonna ask you just one card or create 12 cards. Hit the create 12 cards, 100 cards, whatever it is. And this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna automate all this information. But yeah, it's gonna fill out all that information for you. And then when you send them the first message, you're gonna move them over to the first message. When you send them the first follow-up, you're gonna send it over. Some of the automations we do use is one to track the dates on the cards. So that way we know when we hit them up. You can do this manually, we did it manually. So if we're gonna hit them up in the next three days, we'll just hit save and then save it there. And then it'll let us know when October 16 hits to move it in the next three days. And then in this box right here where you're going to input is all of their information that you had over here. But all this information from their Facebook, their X, their Insta, any information you have on these guys, like you're gonna fill it out here. So what we do on ours is like, we have all their information and then we write like a few bullet points about what they do, the service they provide, some more information. So we get a gist because it gets really difficult keeping up with like hundreds of people. So we just wanna make sure we have proper notes on them on what they actually. So yeah, that's how you guys set up the Trello board. It's super easy to do and it's free. I really recommend you guys do this. So I understand that this is a method that a lot of editors don't use. I didn't use this when I first started out. I just started doing this four months ago and it's been working for our agency very well. Okay, we are getting a lot of traction, a lot of engagement back with Prospect. We're just signing our first deal and we signed a deal uh, two weeks ago for $6,000. This method does work. It's just really hard and it takes a while to get the ball rolling. It's completely different from how a lot of editors work. I understand that. But if you are a really aggressive editor and you really want clients that you're happy working for, this is the method you guys should be using to get your clients.